Chris Wade, the guy right here, is giving Islam probably his toughest fight in the UFC. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah How does I he agree. feel, by the way? Chris, how does he feel, by the way? Was he got a good pressure? Is, is he a pressure fighter? He, he, he almost submitted me with that triangle. He had one of those, like, steel cups on. And he put, but he, he, he pulled my glove like into the triangle and I couldn't, sure. I couldn't, I couldn't get my, he had it hooked. So he was pulling me into it and I thought about it for a second, but then I used like hammer fist to get out of it. But, uh, um, I cornered you for that one. No, he, I don't know. How Cause to I remember you like hulking out like, dude, yeah, I don't know how to bad. explain that tight. fight. I think like I've seen him do some great things on his feet, but it looked like from the start of the fight, he didn't want to strike. He, Every time I threw, he shot a shot, and then it turned into some crazy uh, grappling scrambles. Um, but his strength, like let's say, you know when you're against the cage, you got your ass against the cage, and someone's got like a loose double on you, but they're trying yep. to finish, and you, you, you're you splitting your legs one way or the other. The way he was able to pull my knees in together, lock his hands, and pull me away from the cage, his power from there was I never felt that before. I've never felt that from another fifty-five pounder. And he's life. going with me, Chael. <laughs> sure, <laughs> believe it he or not. He knows strength, right? He's felt strength. I get it. But but Chris, I got to ask you the specifically pace, specifically the pressure. Yes. Is there a pre like? Can you feel it? Can you go, man? This guy's just coming forward. He's coming at me. Does he? Because you can see that Khabib does that. But does Islam he, do that too? He wasn't. He was going the other way. But then when the grappling would start, you know how scrambles go. If you stay sure. in a prolonged scramble, like a five minute round, I mean, it gets just flat out exhausting. So it would turn into like I'm trying to choke him. He's out of it. He's on top of me. I swept him. Now he's up, he's out, we're in on a takedown. It just was... Yes, Probably great it was, energy control. It was, yeah, it While was, you're going for a choke, he's like, I'm good here. Go it ahead, was squeeze. Not, yes. His ability to... I choked him three, four times hard, and he never panicked. He found his way out of it. His ability to... Che, I want Islam as my tag team partner. It, <laughs> yeah, but there you go. It, it was the body... <laughs> fun. It was the body triangle in the third. He once he locked that up, I couldn't get out of his body triangle. That's what locked it up. So sure. our my fight with him was a little bit different than some of the stuff you see, but I think that's what what you were saying that fascinates me and I always talk to people about is the match with me and him being both grapplers. That's what makes like the most exciting stuff and for Gregor and Khabib to go at it. That would be oh, like yeah. two of the best grapplers I've ever seen go at it. It would be fireworks because the scrambles you would see would be just a a insane. Yeah. You would have to slow motion and go back and go half speed to understand even what happened. Yeah. And, see, and, Khab and Khabib is such a competitor, you know I mean? He puts a pace on you and he wants to win really bad, but that's what I see in Gregor. I mean, I see a yeah. dog in Gregor. Yeah. Gregor we, will put that like, pace. Gregor's know. not backing down. <laughs> no.